NMDA receptor antagonists are a class of anesthetics that work to antagonize, or inhibit the action of, the N-methyl-D-aspartate receptor NMDAR. They are used as anesthetics for animals and humans. The state of anesthesia they induce is referred to as dissociative anesthesia. Several synthetic opioids function additionally as NMDAR antagonists, such as pethidine, levorfenol, methadone, dextropropoxyphene, tramadol and ketobemidone. Some NMDA receptor antagonists, such as ketamine, dextromethorphan, DXM, fencyclidine, PCP, methyxtamine, MXE, and nitrous oxide, N2O, are popular recreational drugs used for their dissociative, hallucinogenic, and euphoriant properties. When used recreationally, they are classified as dissociative drugs. Uses and effects NMDA receptor antagonists induce a state called dissociative anesthesia, marked by catalepsy, amnesia, and analgesia. Ketamine is a favored anesthetic for emergency patients with unknown medical history and in the treatment of burn victims because it depresses breathing and circulation less than other anesthetics. Dextrorphin, a metabolite of dextromethorphan, one of the most commonly used cough suppressants in the world, is known to be an NMDA receptor antagonist. Depressed NMDA receptor function is associated with an array of negative symptoms. For example, NMDA receptor hypofunction that occurs as the brain ages may be partially responsible for memory deficits associated with aging. Schizophrenia may also have to do with a regular NMDA receptor function, the glutamate hypothesis of schizophrenia. Increased levels of another NMDA antagonist, kinerenic acid, may aggravate the symptoms of schizophrenia, according to the Kinerenic hypothesis. NMDA receptor antagonists can mimic these problems, they sometimes induce psychotomimetic side effects, symptoms resembling psychosis. Such side effects caused by NMDA receptor inhibitors include hallucinations, paranoid delusions, confusion, difficulty concentrating, agitation, alterations in mood, nightmares, catatonia, ataxia, anesthesia, and learning and memory deficits. Because of these psychotomimetic effects, NMDA receptor antagonists, especially fencyclidine, ketamine, and dextromethorphan, are used as recreational drugs. At subanesthetic doses, these drugs have mild stimulant effects and, at higher doses, begin inducing dissociation and hallucinations, though these effects and the strength thereof vary from drug to drug. Most NMDA receptor antagonists are metabolized in the liver. Frequent administration of most NMDA receptor antagonists can lead to tolerance, whereby the liver will more quickly eliminate NMDA receptor antagonists from the bloodstream. NMDA receptor antagonists are also under investigation as antidepressants. Neurotoxicity Although NMDA antagonists were once thought to reliably cause neurotoxicity in humans in the form of Olney. S. lesions, recent research suggests otherwise. Only S. lesions involve mass vacualization of neurons observed in rodents. However, many suggest that this is not a valid model of human use, and studies conducted on primates have shown that use must be heavy and chronic to cause neurotoxicity. Indeed, a 2009 review found no evidence of ketamine-induced neuron death in humans. However, temporary and permanent cognitive impairments have been shown to occur in long-term or heavy human users of the NMDA antagonists PCP and ketamine. A large-scale, longitudinal study found that current frequent ketamine users have modest cognitive deficits, while infrequent or former heavy users do not. Many drugs have been found that lessen the risk of neurotoxicity from NMDA receptor antagonists. Centrally acting alpha-2 agonists such as clonidine and guanfacine are thought to most directly target the etiology of NMDA neurotoxicity. Other drugs acting on various neurotransmitter systems known to inhibit NMDA antagonist neurotoxicity include, anticholinergics, diazepam, barbiturates, ethanol, 5-HT2A serotonin receptor agonists, and muscimol. Potential for treatment of excess excitotoxicity 
Since NMDA receptor overactivation is implicated in excitotoxicity, NMDA receptor antagonists have held much promise for the treatment of conditions that involve excitotoxicity, including benzodiazepine withdrawal, traumatic brain injury, stroke, and neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and Huntington's. This is counterbalanced by the risk of developing ulni. S lesions, which have only ever been observed in rodents, and studies have started to find agents that prevent this neurotoxicity. Most clinical trials involving NMDA receptor antagonists have failed due to unwanted side effects of the drugs, since the receptors also play an important role in normal glutamatergic neurotransmission, blocking them causes side effects. These results have not yet been reproduced in humans, however. Mild NMDA receptor antagonists like amitriptyline have been found to be helpful in benzodiazepine withdrawal. Mechanism of action The NMDA receptor is an ionotropic receptor that allows for the transfer of electrical signals between neurons in the brain and in the spinal column. For electrical signals to pass, the NMDA receptor must be open. To remain open, glutamate and glycine must bind to the NMDA receptor. An NMDA receptor that has glycine and glutamate bound to it and has an open ion channel is called activated. Chemicals that deactivate the NMDA receptor are called antagonists. NMDAR antagonists fall into four categories, competitive antagonists, which bind to and block the binding site of the neurotransmitter glutamate, glycine antagonists, which bind to and block the glycine site, non-competitive antagonists, which inhibit NMDARs by binding to allosteric sites, and incompetitive antagonists, which block the ion channel by binding to a site within it. Examples Competitive antagonists AP5, APB, R2 amino 5 phosphonopentanoate, AP7, 2 amino 7 phosphonoheptanoic acid, CP pain, 3, R, minus 2 CARBOXYPIPERAZIN, 4 YL, prop 2 ENYL1 phosphonic acid. Selfotel, an anxiolytic, anticonvulsant but with possible neurotoxic effects. Incompetitive channel blockers Minocycline Amantadine, used for treating Parkinson's disease and influenza and Alzheimer's. Atomoxetine, a norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor used in the treatment of ADHD. AZD6765 Agmatin, blocks NMDA receptors and other cation ligand gated channels. Can also potentiate opioid analgesia. Chloroform, an early anesthetic. Dextralorphin, a more potent analog of dextromethorphan. Dextromethorphan, a common antitussive found in cough medicines. Dextrorphin, active metabolite of dextromethorphan. Diphenidine, a novel designer drug sold on the internet. Dizosilpine, MK801, an experimental drug used in scientific research. Ethanol, also known as alcohol, a widely used legal intoxicant. Etacyclidine, a slightly more potent dissociative anesthetic than fencyclidine but with greater nausea, unpleasant taste, that was discontinued early in its development due to these digestive complaints. Gacyclidine, an experimental drug developed for neuroprotection. Ketamine, a dissociative psychedelic with antidepressant properties used as an anesthesia in humans and animals, a possible treatment in bipolar disorder patients with treatment-resistant depression, and used recreationally for its effects on the CNS. Magnesium Memantine, treatment for Alzheimer's disease. Methyxtamine, a novel designer drug sold on the internet. Nitromantine, a novel memantine derivative. Nitrous oxide, used for anesthesia, particularly in dentistry. 
PD-137889, potent NMDA receptor antagonist with roughly 30 times the potency of ketamine. Substitutes for PCP in animal studies. Fencyclidine, a dissociative anesthetic previously used in medicine, but its development was discontinued in the 1960s in favor of its successor ketamine due to its relatively high incidence of psychotomimetic effects. Abused recreational and legally controlled in most countries. Rolicyclidine, a less potent analog of fencyclidine, but seems to be seldom, if ever, abused. Tenocyclidine, an analog of fencyclidine that is more potent. Methoxidine, 4 meo PCP. Tyltamine, an animal anesthetic. Neuromexane, a mamantine analog with nootropic, antidepressant properties. Also a nicotinic acetylcholine antagonist. Elipridol, an anticonvulsant drug with neuroprotective properties. Etoxidrol, a potent dissociative similar to PCP. Dexoxidrol, similar to etoxidrol. WMS2539, potent fluorinated derivative of dexoxidrol. NIFA, a moderate affinity antagonist. Remasamide, a low affinity antagonist also a sodium channel blocker. Delusamine, also a SSRI with neuroprotective properties. 8APDHQ, a high affinity PCP structural analog. Non-competitive antagonists. Aptagonel, Serestat, CNS1102, binds the Mg2 plus binding site within the channel of the NMDA receptor. HU211, an enantiomer of the potent cannabinoid HU210 which lacks cannabinoid effects and instead acts as a potent non-competitive NMDA antagonist. Huperzine A Ibogaine, a naturally occurring alkaloid found in plants of the Apocanaceae family. Has been used, albeit with limited evidence, to treat opioid and other addictions. Remasamide, principal metabolite is an incompetitive antagonist with a low affinity for the binding site. Reinchafiline an alkaloid, found in Kratom and Rubiaceae. Gabapentin, a calcium a 2D ligand that is commonly used in diabetic neuropathy. Glycine antagonists These drugs act at the glycine binding site. Repastinol, GLYX13, weak partial agonist, IA equals approximately 20%. NRX1074, weak partial agonist. 7-chlorokinerenic acid. 4-chlorokinerenine, AB101, prodrug for 7-chlorokinerenic acid. 5-7-dichlorokinerenic acid. Kinerenic acid, a naturally occurring antagonist. Minus 40 Takas, competitive antagonist at the GLUN1 glycine binding site. 1 aminocyclopropanecrobaxilic acid, ACPC. L phenylalanine, a naturally occurring amino acid, equilibrium dissociation constant, Kb, from shield regression is 573 micro m. Xenon, an anesthetic. Potencies In competitive channel blockers See also List of investigational antidepressants Discovery and development of memantine and related compounds References